Hey guys, welcome back, and today I'm going to be announcing something new, and it's something new to come into my channel, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to start on FIFA 18 or FIFA 17, it all depends at the moment. But basically, I hope you guys in are enjoying the uh, games at the moment on FIFA 18 demo. Uh, for some reason it's not letting me upload it for a reason, uh, I am sourcing it, currently sourcing it out at the moment. but. We're back, I'm back at the moment of announcing a new series coming into this. Um, and that new series is Squad Wars. Um, Squad Wars. And basically, uh, in FIFA 18, they're going to be doing something like this anyway. Uh, and it's like a, a tournament of getting good rewards and everything. And apparently, it's a lot better, it's a lot easier to get coins in FIFA 18, which actually does help with this series. And basically, what you do is you build a team and you got these formations you build your team around these formations and in my hat here I've got all sorts of stats so three at the back uh, four at the back whatever name it you can think like I've literally thought of every strat and it's almost like strat overlord or over uh, overload um, but this is on FIFA and I'm hoping this turns out really well like I have got, uh, I just hope it goes really well. And um, so let's say, for instance, uh, in the squad wars, uh, my I get a certain formation. So let's say I got the four two three one two. Uh, I would have to build a squad around this. So I could use either existing players already in my club, or I can just go in the transfer market and see if I can buy a player in that price. And then I build my way up and I complete the team. And then I sort out for the debate, like the bench. And you've got at least put on one player from your bench into your starting 11. At least at the 60th minute. That is the maximum you can go up to. And it could be three players. It could be two players. It, the maximum is only three players. But basically you've got to use those three players in your starting 11. Um, after, after like doing all that. And you can open packs if you like in the squad wars. I can open packs, so maybe get like um. In the packs, I get like a, a Gabby Dini for instance, and then I could use him as my striker. Um, all that can go into it, and after all that, you at least got to do a forfeit, and that forfeit could be anything. Uh, delete your goalkeeper, delete your best player. It could be anything. And it could be like a a thing that you've got to do in real life, or a um, it le legit could be anything. And yeah, so that's uh, some of the stuff that I'm thinking. Um, and hopefully it turns out really well. Like I am very excited to actually do this anyway because it's been in my mind for like quite a while, but I've never been around to doing it. But looking at FIFA 18, apparently it's a lot better to coins. So for me, I am definitely gonna be doing this 100% in FIFA 18 um, because it's just so much more easier to get coins and all that stuff. So, but I don't know when I'm gonna do it. But it could, I could do it on FIFA 17, or I could be doing it on FIFA 18. Don't know when, but yeah. But I hope you guys like this video and basically I am still currently doing those challenges on FIFA 18. Um, at the moment I am still posting, I'm still trying to post the parts when I play against my brother. Uh, there's three parts to this, part, part one has already been out. Um, and yeah, and if I can't seem to upload the rest of the footage for some random reason, I will try my best to at least upload it. Or, if that is the case, I will move on to FIFA 17 and then maybe try to upload some games from FIFA 17. Um, so, yeah. But, honestly, there, like, in you've, in part 2 and 3, there are some pretty good goals. And, for me, FIFA 18 does feel a lot more stronger and a lot more better. And I never really discussed this. Uh, in any video or at the moment, um, but playing the demo, it felt a lot stronger and a lot better. 
Um, the passing feels a lot better. Um, the one thing I've realised in FIFA 17 is connection. Um, the one thing I have struggles with is actually finding people with good connection. Because I'm either playing at home or away and they just seem to have a shit connection and it's just so annoying. Um, but yeah, it's... Hopefully it turns out well, really, FIFA 18. I am hoping to do a lot more. I am going to be... Uh, the, the, uh, what's it called? The Squad Wars... There's, like, you can play in Squad Wars. Uh, I don't know what it's called at the moment, but I'm just going to be calling it Squad Wars. Um, but in... There's a ga new game mode coming into FIFA 18. And apparently it's really good. So I'll be playing that a lot. Um... And honestly, for FIFA 18, I am going to fully try to demolish the game. I've also got Destiny 2 in the back as well. That's been kind of lowering me down. But at the moment, I will be doing a lot more FIFA in the future and all that stuff. And hopefully it turns out really well uh, with FIFA. Because I'm... I'm hopeful really on FIFA and I've got so many friends now who can play it and I've got so many like people who love FIFA and all that stuff and it's a lot of fun I really do enjoy playing FIFA um, like there should be no really reason why to not hate FIFA um, and it's gonna be exciting I'm excited for FIFA FIFA 18 and it look it does play out as a very good game and, and all that stuff but yeah uh, FIFA like honestly anything in that they could probably improve with FIFA 18 is like the speed of the game the speed of the game is a bit too slow so maybe if it can maybe be like increase the speed of the game that would probably be a lot more better um, uh, and yeah so that's kind of what I'm thinking at the moment hopefully it turns out well like I'm not one of those people who like to hate on FIFA I'm one of those people who likes to actually go on FIFA and say oh, I could do this or I could do that and just going into I'm hoping just going into FIFA 18 I can find like at least a good start off point like for my for my idea for FIFA 18 and how I'm going to start off it is just see how much I can do with a bronze team because you start off with a bronze team and maybe some gold plays uh, depends what you're doing but you do get like a you do get like a daily um, objectives which is really good I do like that um, right that's a very very good idea 100% that's a very good idea but you do get daily objectives and maybe like I will be doing that a lot as well um, in FIFA um, and hopefully it turns out really well like I haven't for me I'm not worrying at all about FIFA 18 like there is some like quality stuff in FIFA 18 and I'm just excited for FIFA 18 you could say um, and all that stuff and I'm hope like just for me at the moment, I'm hoping that I go off as a, I get off as a really good start, um, because I'm just, like, as you can see, I've just built a team here, and this is kind of, uh, you got like Alex Hunter. That the journey does look pretty cool. Um, I can say that as well. But basically, I just 100 percent, mate. It's just want to get into that um, game, and I'm just uh, really excited. That's all I can say at the moment. But FIFA 18, 100% going to try at least my best on that game, 100%, so, but I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, this was kind of just an announcement of a new series coming out, um, don't know when, I don't know when it will come out, but, like, video, I'm going to have to do a different video every day, because basically, like, uh, for some reason, it won't upload Destiny 2, and then it won't upload FIFA 18, if it's 
if there's like a current pattern going on with it, I'm I'm not hundred percent sure. Like there might I might what I might do is just one day upload Destiny, the next day FIFA 13, and the next day or maybe like um, GTA 5, or anything pretty much. And um, yeah, I kind of want to see how that goes in the future. But hope you guys enjoyed. Please do like and do subscribe. Check out my other videos as well. And um, yeah, see you next time.